What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are taking a look at the Super Witch and how it is being used here at Town Hall 13 to crush some bases. I am a big fan of this strategy, we're taking a look at a couple attacks today, talking about how you use it, typically pairing it with the Quad Quake to really open things up, let the big boys, which is a really weird name, I mean, they did not put much of a budget into naming the uh, the skeletons that spawn, but in any event, it, it opens it up for those big skeletons to just run around the base. The witches have a lot of hit points themselves. We have not seen, I mean, I haven't seen much on YouTube or otherwise of this uh, attack until recently. Saw some replays in the war, tried it myself, it worked out nicely. This first replay um, does a pretty good job showing off the attack strategy and what, you know, how you want to use it here. Um, basically a little warden walk to start. You know, never hurts to do that on this type of attack. Then entering in with four super witches, five healers, of course, switching on to them, and then quaking the middle open, a couple rages as well. The queen to back everything up, king uses the funnel. Very similar to like a Yeti Smash or a Pekka Bowler type attack. Um, but the, the Super Witches tend to have a little more longevity in the middle. They're just pretty hard for the Town Hall 13 defenses to kill. The Scatter Shot, even the single Infernos aren't as powerful as they might be against Yetis or Bowlers or Pekkas. Um, so as you see, as you see here, the uh, core is cleaned out, and then the Siege Barracks was kind of used as a delayed uh, addition to the attack here on the right side. Hogs coming out, as along with the Royal Champion. That's always a good combo, having Hogs and the Royal Champion uh, moving through together, because the, the Hogs might soak up that single Inferno Beam, allowing the Royal Champion to get a lot more value than it otherwise would have. Nice heal spell for those Hogs, keep them up a little longer. Um, like I said, the uh, single Inferno not locking onto the Royal Champion, which is exactly what you want, hits that ability takes out some defenses, but check it out, the Super Witches, if you may have noticed, really just don't die that easily. They, the main drawback is time, I would say, with this attack. So don't do like a really long Warden Walk, um, you will run out of time. But, uh, I mean, look, I think three of the four of them are still up. They have a lot of hit points, and if the healers stay on them, as opposed to like maybe on your Queen, which isn't as good typically, but if the healers stay on them, they will survive the entire attack usually. So very nice use of it here. And we will take a look at another replay and probably some more in the future. I mean, I, if this thing takes off a little more, which I'm hoping it will, um, it might have some more to show. Let's switch gears, take a look at one of my attacks here. Uh, this was a fresh hit, number nine. And this is a pretty standard base. You know, you see bases like this a lot in both Legends League as well as in, uh, in War. And I am trading the Siege Barracks for a blimp to help with that funnel. On the last base, it was a little easier to enter, come in, get the Town Hall, move through the core. This one being more of like a ring type base, not like a total ring base, but kinda, kinda ringy to it. <laughs> um, the funnel needs to be a little bit better. So uh, the blimp comes in, great value on that blimp. I mean, getting the eagle, um, a bunch of other defenses in that area, a couple trailing balloons clean up the rest would have been nice to have like a baby dragon rather than using my king here but um it is what it is i will hit the ability and he'll take out the defensive king and then kind of join up with everything else one downside to this is you do have the quakes but typically you're going to have to wall break one layer and you can only bring one super troop so the uh the super witch is going to be the the super troop you bring meaning you have to use regular wall breakers in most cases, unless you're bringing a wall wrecker, which might be a cool thing to do, but oftentimes you need your siege bar or your siege machine for something else, whether it's a blimp, a siege barracks, whatever. So Quake open the core, everything is gonna move through here. The uh, super witches don't uh, get targeted as long as the skeletons stay out in front of them, which they are right now. Coming in with the royal champion, I got the healers on my queen, which is not ideal, but it's okay. But check it out, the multi-inferno is not actually going to take down uh, the witches that fast. They have a lot more hit points than a regular witch. Um, so you'll see they're going to stay up a little longer, as well as the uh, royal champion uh, doing her thing, and then one of the super witches is on the outside of the base. Um, so as things develop here, my queen is going to stay alive with her ability. 
Um, the Multi Inferno goes down right here as the Super Witches lock on to it. Still have those Skeletons out, um, tanking a little bit. The Super Witches are starting to kind of go down there um, as the Cannon takes another one of them out. But my Queen, still alive, going to use her ability. Um, I Actually, I don't even think I need to use the ability here just because the single Inferno wasn't locked on long enough. Um, you can see here, time is your enemy. This base is done, um, only like a Cannon and a Mortar is left. But um, the Super Witches and their big boy skeletons uh, does not spawn or does not have a lot of damage. So they will stay up for a long time, but they're not going to do a lot of damage very fast. Um, 40 troop space, uh, not a lot of DPS there. A lot of hit points, not a lot of DPS. So when you use this strategy, I know it, it's tough. They take up 160 troop space, you're already pressed on it. Make sure you have a couple wizards. That will be so important to have wizards, minions, archers, goblins, all kinds of little cleanup. Um, don't be stingy because you will run out of time. This one was down to the last second, if I remember correctly. Um, but the, the good news is we are seeing this crush bases and oftentimes there's not even it's not even that close in terms of the troops dying out. It's mainly just a matter of time. So look to use this, use those quakes to open up the base send in those four super witches very versatile we saw it work on kind of an anti three star base first then more of a ring type base which can often be trickier uh, in some cases it also works for those if you funnel correctly look to use it guys um hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching hit the subscribe and that'll do it for today's video i'll see you all next time thanks for watching this video if you enjoy my content consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.